Good afternoon, everyone. This is a tropical update here for September 2nd, 2022. We still have three disturbances in the Atlantic, so we might as well just get right into it here. Here is Invest 94L, the weakest of the three systems, and this has had a rapid decline over the last two days, which is now has a 0% chance of development within the next five days. The next one, uh, which is number two here, Invest 91L, and this still has a 70% chance of a cyclone formation in five days, and it is going to be headed in this sort of direction according to the national hurricane center we finally have hurricane danielle which is our first hurricane sea a hurricane of the season in the atlantic as you can see we have some very good circulation with it. it is it is forecasted to become a category two hurricane and then we can back down to a category one hurricane shortly after it reaches that status but as you can see, we have some very nice circulation and not much convection on the southeastern side. But look at that inflow actually going into that circulation there. And it's really wrapping up. We've almost seen an eye from this uh, satellite imagery. And I wouldn't be surprised if we do see an eye this weekend from it on satellite imagery. Let's go ahead and look at the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. As you can see, there's Invest 91L just east of the Lesser Antilles. This still does have that 70% chance of a cyclone formation in five days. And it still had that kind of cone there uh, in the red highlighted areas. That's the direction it's going to be headed over the next five days. Um, but it could make a northern turn very quickly according to the GFS model and just missing Bermuda to the east. But still, National Hurricane Center still having confidence confidence uh, this is going to be heading northwest for a bit now we do have invest 94l which has a zero percent chance of a cyclone for five days not much to worry about that anymore and hurricane danielle we have uh 75 mile per hour winds with it right now so a category one hurricane nine 992 millibars of the minimum central pressure located about uh 37.9 north 43.3 west and movement is west at one knot so again it is kind of doing a u-turn right now kind of a circle so it's kind of stalling out and uh until it does head to the northeast for right now here's the 925 millibar vorticity for the northern atlantic and a portion there of the eastern pacific now starting off in the eastern pacific we also do have a, some disturbances here this one has a very good amount of vorticity with it that could potentially become a tropical storm or so and we also do have invest 91l right down here and that is still again a 70 percent chance we have hurricane danielle which you can see that icon there we have a lot of vorticity with hurricane danielle that's why i think we could see eye on satellite imagery very shortly here and here's Invest 94L, which still has a lot of vorticity with it. But we do have a lot of dry air that's going to be mixing into this, uh, some shear as well. And that will pretty much uh, kill it off from there. But I still do have confidence that this is going to be making it through that shear and then forming into some sort of tropical storm hurricane. Here's the current wind shear. Just to put this into perspective here, uh, here is Hurricane Daniel right now in, in favorable wind shear. All those green contours, those are uh, favorable wind shear values. Here is a tr uh, Invest 91L, which I think we could see potentially a PTC uh, from this. And I think this would be PTC 5. If I'm correct, uh, by Sunday or Monday, I think we could see that potential tropical cyclone highlighted for it uh, and that is going to be headed through some unfavorable wind shear but ahead of this you have a big pocket here of very favorable wind shear and not much wind shear at all in this little pocket where it's going to be headed according to the national hurricane center let's look at the gfs model here uh, from the latest updates 12z run here and as you can see there's hurricane danielle which is uh, dropping a very low pressure here of 970 millibars uh, possibly by possibly this weekend here could be dropping a lot of millibars dropping that pressure and there we go uh, there's possibly tropical storm earl down there north of the lesser antilles here this weekend we could possibly see that forming as it does exit some of that wind shear gets really uh, going here we're looking to look at the european model as well see what its opinion on it i have looked at this gfs run today but i haven't looked at the euro yet so we're gonna see uh what that tells us but look at that we also do have a low pressure system that's going to be also near this uh invest 91l possible tropical storm earl that's again gonna do some sort of circulation around that and that's going to be quite interesting there uh which is actually just going to push it way far north and that is going to make it very close 
uh, attempt uh, to Nova Scotia, but just not quite make it there uh, from that boost to the uh, other rogue low pressure system. Not much uh, in terms of tropical waves after those two possible hurricanes in the main development region but let's go and look at the mdr let's go and look at the euro, euro model and see what his opinion is here's a 12z run of the euro model is still coming out here so we can't get the full look yet uh but we do have uh in we do have hurricane daniel which will just show a much uh, more realistic situation for hurricane uh, daniel right now gfs is uh, a little f too far uh, behind on Hurricane Danielle in terms of data wise. So Euro is definitely doing a good job with that and not showing 970 millibars as it is definitely not at 970 millibars right now. It is around 990, but that is going to continuously drop as it is going to stall out in that area uh, for this weekend into even early next week. Not much development at all uh, with Invest 91L, but the Euro model is very interesting because this actually shows it's going a lot more further west, possibly over here into the Northern Caribbean, even near the Bahamas, this could be headed according to the Euro model. And this is where we have very low wind shear, uh, which that could be uh, a little bit concerning and something to watch closely here uh, for early next week if this euro model is correct. We saw Invest 94L looks like also back here as well. So still things to watch as uh, uh, we still have Hurricane Danielle up there early next week. That's still just kind of staying in place according to the euro model. So definitely some interesting opinions here according to the euro, euro model. And uh, definitely I do agree with the euro model on some of these situations. And the GFS is kind of hyping things a little. I think the GFS right now is hyping things a little too much. And not really taking much notice of the dry air or wind shear with Invest 91L. Here's the CMC model, another major model here of the tropical season. And let's go on and move forward here. This does make a very closer approach uh, other than the GFS model. Uh, and it goes a little more westward than the GFS model. As you can see there for Invest 91L. Then makes a northern turn here uh, and possibly forms into a hurricane here. And then comes very close to Bermuda there. Uh, uh, pretty much a side swipes Bermuda here on September 12th. But look at this CMC model around September 12th. We have a tropical wave here and possibly even a tropical storm or so around September 12th. Now, 240 hours are out from now and things change from now to then. But again, I've been saying this. Uh, we've seen signs of for possible MDR tropical waves that could be heading into the Caribbean. Later on in around middle September, we have seen signs from multiple different models and we are in September now. So things are going to become a little more confident as we get closer and closer to middle September. If you did enjoy the forecast video here of the uh, latest update on the tropics, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications you won't miss a single daily tropics update i'll have much more updates this weekend here on hurricane danielle and invest 91l we'll give you the latest updates on track and intensity over the next five days so uh, be sure to share this video with any friends or family that may want the latest updates on the tropics and stuff like this like the video that'll be very much appreciated but as always i'll see you in the next one stay safe